Ladies and gentlemen, Archery Desk Productions proudly present... What the f*** happened to my bow? All right, shooters, let's get started. Question number one. What caused this bow to fail? Is it A, the string broke? B, the limbs delaminated? C, excessive cam lean? Or D, user error? Let's watch again. No matter what brand or model bow you have, if you torque the string out of alignment with the cams, the bow's string is going off the rail, and you're not going to like it. I'm going off the rail. That's not a bow failure, that's a derailed string. <laughs> looks like that really hurts. It's like the perfect loop. Wow. First of all, it's good practice to never draw back a modern compound bow without an arrow and your mechanical release. But we know you just can't resist drawing back your bow with your fingers. And hey, it's your bow. Do what you want. But be advised, this is when most derailments happen. Let's take a closer look and see why. When you draw your bow back, the string should stay in alignment with the cam tracks. Notice how the string here is perfectly centered in the arrow rest. This is how it should look at full draw. But if you torque the string to the side, the cam and string paths are misaligned. So when you let down the bow, the string rides out of the cam groove and pops off the cam. This causes an immediate and shocking derailment of the bow string. Which brings us to question number two. What causes the strings and cams to get torqued out of alignment? Is it A, poor shooting form? B. Gripping the bow too tightly. C. Twisting of the bowstring. Or D. All of the above. The answer is all of the above. The most common repair made to modern compound bows is fixing damage caused by string derailments. And string derailments are usually caused by twisting or torquing the handle of the bow. But I've been shooting a compound bow for 20 years. You've been doing it wrong for 20 years. Modern bows have thin, high-speed cams with shallow grooves. So if you're going to torque it, you're going to break it. Archery Desk, this is Fred. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was just shooting my bow today, and it blew up. Many novice shooters can't distinguish a derailment from a real bow failure, and they assume the bow just broke. But that's far from the truth. To avoid derailing your bow, start by not using your white knuckle kung fu death grip. Instead, let the back of the grip rest inside the pad of your thumb, being careful not to apply pressure to the front or sides of the grip. This will allow the string and cam tracks to stay properly aligned when you're at full draw. And oh yeah, what the f*** is this about? We see this all the time. A guy gets ready to let his bow down, then twist the string about 90 degrees. You're just asking for a derailment. Which brings us to our next question. True or false? String derailment damage is covered by your bow's warranty. Uh, yeah. The answer is false. A derailed string is not a failure of the bow. It's pure operator error. If you crash your car or drop your laptop out of a window or even rip your brand new pants, it's not warranty. You, you broke, broke it. it. And you'll have to pick up the tab for repairs. Same goes for derailments. This brings us to our final question. What does it cost to fix a bow that's been derailed? The short answer is, it depends. Damage from string derailments can range from mild to wild. If you're lucky, you'll just have to have the string reset with a bow press. But if it's not your lucky day, your string may be damaged beyond repair. Along with axle bushings, cable slides, roller guards, or even worse. And let's not forget, when a string derails, the limbs violently decompress and things go flying. Quite frankly, derailments are dangerous. You could be hit by the string or other flying debris. So not only is your bow going to be broken, you're going to get your butt kicked too. Learn to hold and grip your bow properly, 
and use extra caution to avoid twisting the riser or the string, especially when letting the bow down. And finally, to the bow brand fanboys, just save it. Every brand of bow, even your favorite brand, can be derailed just as easily as the sample bow used in this video. Well, that's all the time we have for now. We hope you enjoyed the show. Thank you for playing. What the f*** happened to my bow? <laughs> <laughs>